holy deity descended down from the brilliance with its gates of pearls and streets of gold and sparkling opal and ruby walls down into the dirt with its gates of iron, the streets of dust and dull brick graffiti strewn walls. Down from the hallelujahs, the song of the angels where the elders bow and throw their crowns, singing holy, holy, holy. Down into the cacophony, the clamours of the world. Traffic, media, shouts, hustle and bustle where a billion voices compete. Holy deity descended into the skin of a newborn, fresh and small, doubly incontinent, dependent on two imperfect first-time parents to grow him, the very son of God, also he could make a way to the Father and show the world love. Pure, lavish, reckless love. Love that healed, love that spoke truth, love that broke the chains of injustice, love that went to the cross and died, love that conquered death and rose again, love that brings eternal life. Holy deity ascended back to his throne, but he didn't leave us forsaken. He sent his helper, the spirit of truth, Holy Spirit to be our friend the very presence of the living God, living on the inside of our broken bodies. An eternal spring of hope, light and joy, ever present, never absent. I could settle on the far side of the sea in the wilderness of a far out nation. Even there, he is with me. I could be gripped by the darkest cloud, downcast and buried under layers of sadness, rejection and hurt. And even there, he will find me. I can spend all my days surrounded, enveloped in his steadfast presence, sure that he won't leave me, certain that he won't forsake me. 2020, the unprecedented year that we wish hadn't happened. COVID-19 whirls around the world, bringing lockdown, isolation, shielding. Fear swells like a high tide. All that was normal is pulled from under our feet. Schools close, businesses shut, families are stolen of last goodbyes, dying hands are held by gloved strangers. Unprecedented food bank use, child poverty is higher than ever, unemployment tsunamis, isolation and loneliness loom like monsters above the vulnerable, women labour alone. And there doesn't seem to be an end in sight. We all thought this would be over by now. But here we are, with this new masked normal. And don't we need good news? Jesus isn't socially distanced. He's not two meters away. He is right here, closer than here. The pandemic hasn't thrown him off course. His kingdom is still real. His love is still real. He is still here, ready to talk, ready to listen, ready to crash in with the riches from heaven. He is close to the brokenhearted and he saves those crushed in spirit. He weeps with us. He laughs with us, he comforts us, and he cheers us on. He is at hand for me, for you, for those we love, for those we see at a distance. This is good news. This is the gift of eternal life, the God of the universe, here, right now. And for us who believe, we carry this good news wherever we go. We hold Jesus in jars of clay, all surpassing glory in earthen vessels that the world would see God in us, Emmanuel. We are his loving arms around the broken, his healing touch to the sick, his peaceful presence to the anxious, his easy yoke to the burdened, his kindness in a box of chocolates, his joy in smiling eyes, his generosity in a heartfelt gift, his hope to a worn out world. And the people we meet, our neighbors down the street would know that the holy deity descended all for love, so they would never need to spend another day alone. Emmanuel, God is with us.